so with the overhand hoop, I think first you just have the shell onto the tables, yes, with which um, with the engaging the feet. See, this is the thing, nobody knows, everybody says the same thing, what do you mean the overhand? Right. There's only one, the overhand is other hand. Right. Um, now is that in reference to wedges, or the no, initial show you. Uh, okay. So, the, uh, so this is overhand, uh, like this, and so we have the finger against the raise, the slap, and then the hip. And so this is done with a, with a, with a chop press. Yeah, it's it's a, an angular shape, yes, right? Yes, it's down <clears throat> So this is the first show that the uh, person does from me. This is the first show? Uh, the movements, the series of movements that they do. Oh, you, it's a shell. I got you. I see. It's a shell because there's no athleticism, there's no realism. Right. Um, and then from overhand hoop rising, like this, yeah, you switch and you go back and now you go to left hand. That's a beautiful shape. That's what I want to ask you if I change over. Because I'm kind of limited on the change. So you can back hand, and then you go left side, and so you feed back hand, and then you go left side, and you grab, and then you go slap, and now you go to the right side. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So it's easy to see the feeding the forehand, you feed the back hand. You feed the back hand, you grab, and you slap, and you slap, and now you feed forehand, and you grab, 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 and now you feed forehand, and you grab, and you grab. So this is overhand. The second one is called pushing the button. Okay. So it's a different thing. Okay. So first overhand is this. So the idea is that you have a knife. Right. So this is the overhand. Then the chains of the hand. That's a totally awesome change. That's what I would say. I wanted some different changes. I only know what it is. So first we start with uh, overhand. And then we switch uh, to the free the back end. Yeah, going from right side to left side. Yeah. Then you do uh, overhand from the outside. So we just did so one side here. We did this. Yep. Now we do this. Okay. So over here, not a punch. Not a punch. Not a punch. Okay, so what do I do? Sit up here. Okay. So it's overhand because it's an overhand on the right I see. I see. Now so it's overhead on the inside. Why go inside? Because sometimes you add this to this. Sometimes you raise, other times you pass. Okay, so I can go here and then here. Where am I going to do that? And then you can do that. Yes, I'm going to back over here. Oh, here. Everything is defined and contained. Later, 
And nothing is defined, and that's not the same thing. It could be any bunch, any change of any count, one, two, three, four, whatever. Because the goal is to be the first one to get the finger. That's why I was nice to have force me to keep that guilt by So that's what people are saying. If I don't do that, if I do that, that's what I'm And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because I tell punch work. Yeah. So as you and I do punch work, this is the So as I learn how to protect my eyes from you being able to get your eyes, I'm learning how to get around and get my fingers in your eyes. And we all know how effective that is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. There he is. Yeah. And so uh, you got overhand hoobud from the inside. Overhand hoobud from the outside. Okay. So the only difference is uh, this is overhand hoobud from the inside. Yeah, you can. This is overhand hoobud from the outside. There you go. It's that over there. Okay. Gotcha. Watch the feet here, Okay. Overhand inside, overhand outside. Overhand inside. Okay. Oh, you shush. Shush. Change the way we do this. The backhand, a lot of sound, a slap, and a hit. You're a rocky toucher, yeah. Okay. Yes. What the hell happened? It throws me off. That's possible. That's totally different. So it's not just Okay. Do you ever go on the inside on that? Do you, do you go inside three counts? Or that's a punching hook on you. So there's uh, overhand hook butt, punching hook butt, elbow hook butt. Overhand hook butt, punching hook butt, elbow hook butt. Right, and underhand hook butt. Okay, so the uppercut. Yeah, so it's as uh, uppercut or uh, how is this? Okay, it's almost like. Uh, what's, what's that? Yeah, it's a nice little bit. That one's belly kicks. Once I started, like I said, once I started turning and flattening that foot out, they felt a lot better for me. I'm sure they didn't feel better for you, though. Yeah, because I was doing them up like he said, I was lifting that heel, so I was going up at a 45 like this instead of coming across and cutting through. Yeah, so I do turn that way. So they're contained at first, they're timed, yes. but then after a while, the other one opens up. Yes. Right. We learned so to some coffee keep our check hand disengaging and going back to the beginning of checking hand. And bring our maybe perhaps trapped hand back to the defensive Talk positions. Oh yeah, it's it switching weights. Right, yeah, and that changeover that you did there. Is more, the, the changeovers that I'm familiar with is just punching into emptiness or the fly thing. Like if you guys ever punch in that yeah, double slap, that's the one that I usually do. And I wanted something new, and that's kind of why I'm more introduced to that. I'm always doing a five point changeover or just a hit to another hit or an insertion shot or whatever. But I didn't have, I still don't have a bunch of changeovers. And I know there's no, more. Here's the thing though. Uh, <clears throat> nobody teaches the progression. Well, like, Sometimes teaches the progression. Uh, so, the, uh, so you got the four hoop butts, you got the overhand hoop butt, the underhand hoop butt, uh, you got the double hoop butt, and then the uh, punching hoop butt. Right. Um, then you add to that the changes. Like like right? 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 Then you add to that, and this is where I get everybody else. You add the punch. He's not like right? heavily peppy type. Unless oh, so no. like hard and right. overhand. Otherwise, like, so as you do yeah. this now, you lean into me and I lean into you. So, it's not like you know, lean into me. Yeah. So, so, the idea is now that it comes, the right so hand is comes, and what you use, uh, yes. that is sick. But like, where is where's it from? Where's it from? Because it's from this comes the, the demon and all the other things. Right. Right. And so, put a lot of pressure in you. So, so, sometimes I do the pressure with the left arm. Right. Yeah, other times it's with the right arm. Whether I go inside or whether I go outside. And whether I change to yeah, underneath. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, and I should really do it. Yes. Like Just a feel it. Right? And when you go underneath, you shove with the shoulder in the way. Which gets us in. Closer. My wife was. And then there's the elbow. Right? 
I'm going to buy you one tomorrow for a birthday. I'll buy you one tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, nice. And then, yeah, this, that open, the little thing is that. I told her this summer, like, because I wanted to do a lot of time for it. She was all mad. You got the drills. You got changing, <clears throat> the size, and you got stopping the drill. Oh, okay. nice. um, and now I wait for you to do something, and I go back to the drill. She's pretty good at that I don't know that one. I ordered one of these drones, and it felt right. I ended up getting my money back, which was expensive. And then nice. I That's the realism I think about, about is being able to clear a path and get to the eyes, get to the nose, get to the throat, get to the front, right. It's not being distracted by that range and that trap. It's getting past that, through that, into the park. Right. Yeah, it almost, it, once you get good at it, you almost dissolve it and, and the trap almost becomes invisible. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's almost imperceptible to the naked eye or the outside perspective. Right. And so from there, from the pressure, only then do I add the technique. From the pressure. No, it'll be good. It'll be good. That's right. That's why. What? That's funny. Only then do I add it. First, we did the shell. Overhand, underhand, elbow, punching. Those are just, just the shell. It's just movement. There's no pressure. Right. Now, you start to add. Uh, other like movements that. of changing yeah, sides, right side and left side. Right, still Both movements. Moments. Still movements. Right, no pressure yet. Three, you add pressure. Right. Where now I'm shoving into you and sometimes you're giving, other times you change the angle and then you shove back into me. And, and it, would that be number four, the technique now? No. Uh, next, you do the technique. Right. Uh, technique should always be done, I think, from positioning plus pressure, then technique. Positioning, pressure. So you're bored? That makes but perfect sense. I, I so you like just do, you just start off with the technique. What's the context? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so you so just run, 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 as we do yeah. over yeah. in Tuba, yeah. and we're doing yeah. pressure. I push into you, yeah. and you change the angle, you press into me. I feel you push into me, there's my arm wrench. Yes. I decide I'm going to change sides. I do arm wrench on the other side. I decide, no, I'm going to do a trap. Um, so when we've got the movements sped up a little bit and we've got some pressure, oh, it, it gets chaotic. And now from the chaos, you'll find an arm wrench, you'll find an eye poke, you find an elbow. Yeah. 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 It's chaos, but it's still sensitive to that So it's chaos to get the other person to the right. Yeah. That pressure game. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, oh, let me sweep the whole thing. Or I start to yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Because it's trapping. Yeah. It's, you're, you're using the trap to set up real strikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so he said, I never seen anything like this on the DVDs and the stuff that's out there. I'm like, well, this is my trapping. This is my functional trapping. And I did my trapping. I went to, like many people, I went to a boxing gym and I did this and I tried to do this against the, the amateur boxers right. and I got my clock clean. Right. And I discovered that, you know, there's a lot of rule chung that I have to throw out. But there are certain movements like the foot sao and the bong sao and the jet sao that work really well for all the lines that I'm boxing. And so I know that when I touch this with people, then we start to move around. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. I did yeah. something that I call the crash. Right. Crash yes. to me equals like a jet sao. Yes. I use that all the time now. Yes. Because yeah. I, I built a cage at my gym. Oh, I got a half cage. Uh -huh. uh, the year, uh, about a year and a half ago. So now we're able to do a lot more of that because yeah. we're bridging the gap more and getting into that. That's that's one of the things that I like to do now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, <clears throat> Kubud, uh, the shell starts it. So you know, inside overhand, outside overhand, punching Hubud, elbow Hubud, underhand Hubud. So that's the shell. Right. Now from the shell, you add pressure where you now start to push and drive into the person, or as they start to push and drive into you, you pivot step. Right. This will start to lead into the Duma, where you actually start to push and pull and go back through and create uh, openings. Then with, with, the, with the shell, uh, the positioning of your body and the pressure, now you add techniques like an eye poke, a headbutt, a knee, an arm match, a wrist lock, a finger lock, a double leg takedown, ogoshi. You add all the techniques from that chaos. Right. Yes. And when you spin rounds doing nothing but in here, and I add to this, I add this the pummeling from that side. Right. So we pummel on the neck. Yep. Pummel on the biceps. Yep. yep. Pummel under the arm. Right. And then pummel on the wrist. Nice. Right. And then you go back to who was the Perfect. And then I make that same nice. entry. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you said, uh, uh, was it position, mm -hmm. then pressure, then technique? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I love that. That's a beautiful uh, uh, tactical flow. I love that. Good principle. So that's a training method that I use for people who have experience. Uh, the, yeah, that's the <laughs> that's <right awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Yeah. And so you, so you use that as a, what you say? I use that as a training progression, a training method for people who have experience. Oh, right. People who don't have experience, <clears throat> when I teach them the basics, first I try to teach them the fundamentals. You know, this is your stance. Um, this is your step and slide footwork. This is your pivot step. This is your shuffle step. Um, so you got all the fundamentals and they do the fundamentals without thinking about them. Now, um, I want you to uh, show you some basic techniques. Basics to me are, how do you do a kick? How do you do a punch? How do you do a roll? How do you do an arm lock? How do you do an escape? Now that you know how to do this, I'm going to show you, we're going to review your position. When you throw that jab, we talked about positioning here, but I want you to get in the habit of, I want you to throw the jab here, I want you to throw the jab here for this reason. <clears throat> you position yourself and you give the person, you just don't whip the jab up. You give that jab some pressure. So this is a jab that's used to set up the kick. So instead of me doing jab here, I'll give you this jab. <clears throat> Why? Because it's the easiest jab to do. Because there's a triangle. Put your hands up, please. Yes, sir. See this triangle? Yes, sir. Going by your hands and your elbows. The narrower it gets towards the top, the harder it is for me to hit your face. That's why it's hard to hit people in the face. So it's very easy to hit people at the bottom of the chest or the middle of the chest. That's awesome. When I shove you, I know you're going to take a step. Yeah. And while you're taking a step, I kick your leg. Right. I'm off balance. Yes. 
pressure but we think we're adding pressure to the I like that bottom of the triangle. That's so that's so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's beautiful. It's, yeah. When you say it, it's so common sense, but it's like mm -hmm. it's the connection. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, sir. So Rob, thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Um, I find my way back here. So. Uh, I usually come here spring and fall, but next year I may come spring and summer. Okay, let's, uh, I trust where you're at, you can turn your phone off, you want to save some battery. Yes, thank you. Uh,